Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make a multi-photo print layout in Lightroom. I actually received this question this morning. Actually, I woke up to this question in my inbox. And those of you that have been following me for a while know that I've done a video on this in the past. I looked it up. It was almost exactly five years ago I did a video on this. Since then, Lightroom has changed slightly, so I thought we'd do an updated video today. Now, it's actually very, very easy to do. Step one, take all the images that you want to be in this uh, multi-photo print layout and put them in a collection. I have a collection over here of primates and I have 18 images in it. Then go to the print module and what you wanna do is at the very top where it says layout style, click on single image contact sheet because we're actually going to create a contact sheet. Now, let me say real quick at the beginning, we're going to save this as a file. You don't have to print it. Just because you're in the print module doesn't mean you have to print it. We're gonna save it as a JPEG and that's actually what the question was that I received in my email this morning. They want to uh, create a JPEG of a bunch of fold, uh, photos laid out as though it were a contact sheet. And that's what we're going to be doing. So we have this single photo contact sheet. All right. Now that's step one, uh, step two. Step one was put all the images in the collection. Step two, single image contact sheet. Step three, select all of the images that are in the collection. So I'm clicked on one. I'm just going to hit command A on my Mac to select them all. Control A on a PC. All right. Now we go here to layout. Now this is where uh, we actually decide how we're going to have these images placed on our contact sheet. Uh, first of all, uh, put some margins in there. I have the minimum size margins. I already did that at 0.2 uh, inches. Then for page grid, this is where we're actually going to put in the rows and columns. Now since I have 18 images, I need something that's going to be a factor of 18 or, um, you know, between rows and columns. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put in six rows and you can see as I do that, we're getting more and more rows on the left. And then I'm going to do three columns. So six times three is 18. So you could leave it as that, but I'd like a little bit of space uh, between those images. You could see how they're right butted up against each other. So we'll go to spacing. And I'm just going to do half of what the margins are. So I'm going to do 0.1. If I could just, if you can't find it hard to dial in, you could of course just click on right there and just put in 0.1 with your keyboard. And I'll do it there, 0.1, and hit the tab key. So now I have uh, one tenth of an inch margins between the images and 0.2 inch margins around the images. Now, if you want to reorder anything, you'll have to just reorder them in the film strip. So when you set these images up into the collection, order them the way you want them. Uh, so that way they'll come out in the layout exactly as you want them. All right, now we have this. Now we of course could print it, but we're doing this to save it as a JPEG. So. Go over here to where it's uh, print job, go to print to and change that to a JPEG file. Then we're going to go down here and print to file. And then it's going to ask us to give it a name and I go, oh, I don't know, primates. All right, and we're gonna save it to the desktop and I'll just click save. And over in the top left hand side, you'll see the status bar uh, giving us progress of this print job. It's actually just saving it as a JPEG. And we'll go to our desktop now. And here's our JPEG primates, primates.jpg. And I'll open that up and there it is. So it's super easy to do these layouts in the print module of Lightroom. And as I mentioned, I did this video around five years ago and the print module has changed slightly. So I wanted to just update it and I hope you find this useful. Um, this is something I use, for example, when I create um, LUTs and I want to show each of um, a version of the LUT, how it affects an image. I create a layout like this, save it as a JPEG, and then I put that 
on my website so you could see the different LUTs. So, um, and I'm going to do it for presets. I haven't done that yet. But when I uh, do presets, I could show the same image, let's say, with all the different presets applied. So a lot of different reasons why someone might want to do this. And again, it's super easy to do in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.